Now, let us present you an overview of upgrading the RIO system. As part of the Centum VP product line, we have made available an easy process for upgrading an existing RIO system to the advanced, fully compatible network IO technology. This is an image showing controllers and IO modules mounted in a cabinet. The right hand side shows an appearance of an existing RIO system before upgrade. The left hand side shows an appearance of a Centum VPN IO system after upgrade. The field control unit is mounted in the upper part, above, I.O. nodes. The cabinet for the existing R.I.O. system is usable also after system upgrade. A cabinet upgrade kit can be applied to install field control units and I.O. nodes of the N.I.O. system. The field control unit and I.O. nodes will be replaced with new ones on a one-for-one -one basis. The I.O. node is shaped to the same size and mounted at the same position. The field control units will be replaced with the latest upgrade version. The node interface units also will be replaced with new ones and connected with new I.O. buses. The point-to-point -point I.O.s, which are a feature of the R.I.O. system, will also be replaced with point-to-point -point I.O.s. A single unit supports 16 points. Each multiplexer module consisting of multiple points will be replaced with a new module that supports the same signal types and the same number of points. The terminal block connected with field cables will still be used after upgrade. Some multiplexer modules are connected with cables, and they again will be replaced with modules supporting the same signal types and the same number of points. Now, we present you an overview of how to replace I.O. modules. A point-to-point -point module requires the field wires to be disconnected before proceeding. To prevent wrong connections, fix the field wires using a field wire fixing tool first, and reconnect field wires. Remove I.O. modules, and in the resulting empty space, install a terminal block attached to the fixing tool. The terminal block will be fixed in position with the fixing tool, so you don't have to fasten it with screws. Now, rewire the signal cables. After finishing rewiring, remove the terminal block.
after mounting the point-to-point -point module nest on the node, relocate the terminal block. With the terminal block relocated, remove the field wire fixing tool. A multi-point multiplexer module does not require disconnection of signal cables. The existing terminal block is usable as it is. With the signal wires still connected, separate the terminal block from the I.O. module. After mounting a new module on the node, fix the separated terminal block on the front of the module. This completes the replacement process. The terminal block may have a different shape, like this example. However, you can replace with a new I.O. module through the same procedure. A multiplexer module with connector cables attached to it can be replaced by separating the signal cables from the I.O. module and connecting them to a new module. After removing the ground wire, remove the signal cables from the existing module. Mount a new I.O. module on the node and connect the ground wire and signal wires back in. RS-232C and field bus communication modules will be replaced with the new modules of these model names. Mount in a communication module in the field control unit or in an empty slot of expansion nodes. Note that the new module occupies a different position in the cabinet. With the RIO system upgrade proposed by Igogawa, the existing field wires can be used as they are, and the new system after the upgrade will have a hardware configuration of almost the same appearance. The Centum VPR6NIO system enables a system upgrade in the shortest delivery time and high reliability, while making the best use of your assets.